guys welcome back to my channel it is Brittany so in today's video I have my year-end wrap-up of my favorite wigs of 2020 and I'm pretty excited to be doing this so as you can see I don't have on a wig because I have been on a break for the last like week and a half I told you guys on December 12th that that was like my last day of like filming besides today so I got some faux locks in and I've been enjoying not having to do very much to my hair and I really haven't done makeup since probably about two weeks ago so today I did like this pink purple look let me zoom in so y'all can see um Jackie Ina times Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I also use like the pink palette from Juvia's Place it's like a mini palette so this is what the eyes are looking like I think this look is very pretty so so if you hear my air going I tell you guys this all the time it's hot up in here and I don't want to be like melting while I'm filming this so you guys decided to have a Christmas pajama thing for this year's video last year we did an award style because back in the day I just used to do a list but last year I switched it up and did it and did it award style because it was inspired by Epic Shea aka Nicole Sanders who is the founder of the Wix Layers group on Facebook um, but this year we're doing it a little bit more low-key and chill because it goes with the theme of 2020. We've been quarantined for pretty much the whole year and Christmas pajama vibes was, you know, very appropriate for it. So just like I did last year, I am going to be including some of my wig bay friends and the emphasis on some because everybody has different circumstances some people don't celebrate Christmas some people were busy but it's still a lot of people in this video it's about 19 people I'm going to feature all of them in here so shout out to everybody who could participate and shout out to everybody just in the wig streets doing wig reviews and stuff like that this video is going to have a bit more structure than it did last year because um it was kind of like a little bit everywhere but I'm really I'm a lot better at sequencing and stuff like that and I'm gonna have a human hair portion of the video and a synthetic portion of the video within this one video because when I first started doing these videos I primarily did synthetic wigs all the time but if you are an influencer and you are growing and stuff you get more opportunities so I do a lot more human hair wigs now but I'm looking at my list right now because I have my my happy planner right here and the list for the synthetic wigs is very long like it's probably longer than the human hair wigs so I am gonna get into the human hair wigs first and the second half of the video is gonna be all about the synthetic wig and every now and then like in between segments and stuff I'm gonna pop in um, some of my wig bay friends they're either gonna tell you their favorite wigs of the year or they're gonna tell you their favorite wig trend of the year but you guys already know what the top wig trend of 2020 is i don't even have to say it yet so uh let's go and get into the video okay so as far as human hair lace wigs i really tried human hair lace wigs at the top of the year and then like the second half of the year after you know june and july it was all about the headband wigs y'all know they took over but i'm going to talk about that in a second so it's my first wig april she is one of my absolute favorites of 2020 i was blown away by the yakky texture it had it had a very natural um density the lace my first wig has some of the best lace in the game and it just looked natural so i actually did two videos on that wig i did it just wearing it straight looked super natural and then i did an update video like a month later and i curled it and put it up in like a half up half down style that wig just looks super natural. It just looked like it would be my hair. It had, my first wig is really one of my favorite companies, human hair companies to work with. I think they have some of the best quality in the game. My next favorite wig, even though I didn't wear it a lot, when you review a whole bunch of wigs, sometimes you don't have enough time to get acquainted with, you know, even some of your favorites. And that's why I'm doing so many wig sales so I can downsize and focus on my absolute favorites. So. Uh, her given hair embraced my coily so this was like a short kinky curly wig and I think it was like in a 3c to 4a texture which is like a beautiful texture from them uh, her given hair has some of the best kinky curly wigs out there they are more expensive obviously but um, it's for good reason they're really good it had like some color on the ends and I thought it was absolutely beautiful and in that video I show how I 
how I co-wash my kinky curly wigs and then get the curl pattern to pop. But I do have like a more updated video on how I define my curls on my wig. So if you want to see that, definitely check it out. The next wig, and this is the only RPG show wig on here. I think it was called Katie Bloom 007. If I am mistaken, I will correct myself in the description box probably. This is another wig I didn't wear a whole bunch, but I absolutely loved it though. I have a type with my wigs. I love yakky textures and kinky curly wigs because they look the most flattering on me. I'm not a super huge fan of silky wigs, but I do review them and I might have a few on here. Maybe like one or two, but I'm all about the yakky textures and the kinky straight textures and the kinky curly textures. So this one, it had a thick yakky texture, but it wasn't like kinky straight. It was like a nice, a nice relaxed texture, but it was not thin. It had beautiful highlights in it as well. That is a wig I need to pull out more, uh, more often. And lately, like I've only had these in for like a week, week and a half. I've been watching a lot of wig reviews from my friends and stuff and I'm like, oh my God, I want to take these out just so I can try some of the wigs I already have and some of the new wigs out there. The Katie Bloom wig was very, very beautiful. Another Her Given Hair wig um, is the Proud of Your Coily wig. So that wig was a closure style wig and if you watch that review, when I first put it on, I was like, what did they send me? It looked terrible, but then like I, I hit them up and I was like, I don't think this is for me. Um, but then they told me to watch Miss Naturally Mary's review and see how she like transformed it. So she did a twist out on hers and it turned out so beautiful. So I did the same and I fell in love. It looked like it would have been my hair. And because it was a closure, you didn't have to fool with any lace. I kind of shifted it to the side and I pulled out a little bit of my own edges and it blended perfectly. So I wore it kind of in a kind of a wet twist out look. So I want to try it again and like let it fully dry and then, you know, pick it out to give it more volume. But it looked very beautiful. Highly recommend it. I feel like it's beginner friendly as well because there's no lace involved. And the last human hair lace wig that I loved the most was a recent review okay it's like a yakky relaxed straight 360 wig from omg her hair i reviewed that by this time probably like a week a week and a half ago and i fell in love so impressed by the lace and how it blends down if you want a like seemingly unclockable application it all starts with the lace so that's that's on them you can have you can have all the skills in the world, but if you have really bad lace to start off with, your application is not gonna be top notch. So with that wig, they had amazing lace. The texture was beautiful. The density on mine was 150, so it had a very natural density, but I prefer something thicker, so I probably would have went with 180, but the 150 was still very, very beautiful and very natural. Y'all know I love black yakky straight wigs, but recently I had the opportunity to work with Dark and Lovely. And first of all, shout out to them for wanting to work with me um, for a sponsored post on Instagram. And I was super hype about it. And I was like, which wig am I gonna dye? Because at the time I was about to run out of time because I was getting my hair braided in like a, a few days. So I was like, let me just dye this wig and see how it goes. And I dyed it this auburn color. And you guys saw the pic, if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram at ifancycupcakes. I'm pretty active on there on, on my feed and in my story. So follow me there. I posted my picture and I absolutely love how that wig took to color. Um, and I actually did record footage of me recording I did take footage of me uh, dyeing the wig, so if you guys are interested in that review, I think I will have it up sometime in January. Um, so just look out for that, but it turned out so beautiful. That was like one of my last reviews and it turned out to be one of my favorite lace wigs of the year. So let's hear from some of my wig friends and hear what they loved in 2020, whether it was wig trends or a specific wig. So let's hear it. Happy and safe holidays to all my beautiful people out there. It's your girl, Carrie M. And I'm just gonna have to say, woo, baby. Janet Collection really blew me away this year with their Natural Me series, the Natural Me Light, the Natural Me Blowout. And I'm just gonna have to say, this was a really tough decision, but hands down, 
Ula and Briar both take the cake for me. I could not choose just one. They are my top two favorite wigs of 2020. And again, y'all be safe out there and happy holidays. Oh, hey, Magical Blackness here. Happy holidays to you. I just wanted to come to you and tell you the two things that are so awesome about 2020. One is the headband wig trend. You ain't gotta blend nobody edges with this. You ain't got edges, fine. No glue, no none of that. You don't need it. And Altre took over the world with all their wigs. I absolutely adore Janice the most. Happy holidays to you again, and thanks, Britt. Be sure to enjoy the rest of 2020. Hey guys, happy holidays. My name is Mimi, also known as Mimi Carver on YouTube. My page consists of hair, beauty, and fashion. And today I am collabing with my girl, The Hearts and Cake 90, also known as Brittany, on her Christmas end of the year theme of your favorite wig of 2020. So my favorite wig of 2020 is gonna have to be Kamaya by Altre's Melted Hairline. I love that wig so freaking much, you guys don't understand. And that was actually one of my trending videos. I was actually very excited when that video went a little bit mini viral, you know. I just love the texture, the color was awesome, um, the hairline was melted, you don't even have to do much. All you have to do, you could just put it on, put a little bit of powder, and you could just slay it. For those that want it to be glued down, you know, of course, you slay it with got to be glue spray or the got to be glue gel. And it's just a simple, um, simple wig. It's, it's beginner friendly. And um, yeah, I think that will be it for the year. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you visit my channel, which is Mimi Carvel on YouTube. And happy holidays and Merry Christmas. <laughs> Okay, ho, 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 Merry Christmas, girl. Christmas came early with this little baby right here. Hey, queens, my name is Nene, AKA Queen of Mindset, and over on my channel, we love saving money, okay? And when Brittany asked me to talk about my favorite wig trend of 2020, my number one has to be Amazon headband wigs because they are easy, throw on the go, and they are super affordable. So I have one on right now. This one is only $22. So if you're interested in that, make sure you head to my channel at Queen of Mindset and check out my latest video. But other than that, thank you, Brittany, for inviting me to collab, girl. I hope you guys have a great holiday and I will see you on YouTube. Bye. All right, guys. So you heard from a few of my friends. The next segment is going to be dedicated to human hair headband wigs. So um, I have said this a million times because I have reviewed so many human hair headband wigs and I've done a lot of synthetic ones too, but we'll get to that later. We were out here just reviewing wigs like we normally do and then July hit and my first wig came out with human hair headband wigs and that took over the game, okay? I was not expecting that at all. I don't think anybody was, but you guys know with the lace shortage and everything, companies had to figure out, I guess, a way to continue to make money. With inventing that, it made it a lot more convenient for us. Yes, we know half wigs have existed since the beginning of time, apparently. <laughs> when I started my channel years ago, I've been wearing wigs for 10 years now, over 10 years, and that's how I started off with synthetic half wigs. So we all know about those, but the thing that made everybody like more excited was they introduced human heroines and that was different because I had never heard of human heroines either. Yeah, that, that trend took off and it was very polarizing at the beginning. A lot of people hated them. Uh, some people love them. I was in the class of people who love them. I'm gonna continue to review headband wigs in the new year and I hope they stick around and they keep improving and bringing us new colors and textures and stuff because I think they are so convenient and amazing. This is why I'm like confused when people say they don't like human hair headband wigs. If you are somebody who is not good at applying lace with your wigs, Headband wigs are your friend. You don't have to fool with any lace. A lot of times, headband wigs look more natural than lace wigs. If you don't know how to apply a lace wig, it can look really bad. So I would just recommend going with a headband wig just to begin with. So I love that trend so much. And the more you guys see everybody's like, you know, comments and stuff in the video, you'll see like, the wig base love the headband wigs too. So yeah, so I recently did my, 
I did my top 10 favorite human hair headband wigs video. So you can watch that video if you want to see more specifics of the ones that I love this year. But I'm just going to tell you guys my top three. My top, top three that I loved this year. So the first one, obviously, if you've been watching my channel for at least like four, three or four months, um, the Her Given Hair 4C 4A uh, Coily Headband Wig, that video went viral on my channel for good reason that wig looks so amazing the week before i had already tried the wig and i was like this is amazing this looks like it would be my hair i went around my mama and my sister and they thought it was my hair and that's a big deal like people you know intimately and then they think it's your hair like that wig is amazing it is going to be more expensive every time you see companies like her giving hair or rpg show it's going to be expensive but well worth the coin but you have to keep in mind if it's kinky curly it's going to be high maintenance so if you're a newbie and you don't know how to maintain kinky curly wigs then don't buy it because i've had people comment like you know it's stiff you have to take care of your kinky curly wigs as you would natural hair so you're going to have to moisturize it every few days it's super high maintenance but it's absolutely beautiful i have a less expensive dupe in the top 10 favorites video so you can watch that it's the my quality hair one but i'm not going to put that one on this list because i'm just putting my absolute favorites on here and i already have that one in that video so definitely check that out one of my favorite textures in general is kinky straight textures right i tried probably four or five kinky straight textured um half wigs and headband wigs but one of my absolute favorites is from Nadula Hair. It was a half wig, so it wasn't um, a headband attached to it at all. And that gave it more versatility. So I have very kinky hair, type 4 hair. And I don't like blending my hair with half wigs. That was one of the reasons why I just stayed away from them like lace wigs were more approachable to me because i didn't have to blend my hair this nadula kinky straight half wig blended so well with my hair i watched a um tutorial from kyra Sean, and she blended her hair with a hairband wig that was kinky straight and she has type 4 hair like me and it blended beautifully and so i did that same thing her technique the same way and i fell in love like Oh my god if i could wear that wig every single day in a half up half down style i would it just looks so natural and beautiful i love that wig so much um i wore it Ooh, my leg going dead i wear it all straight and everything but for christmas pictures i put some wand curls in it and it just looks so pretty so i'm looking forward to wearing that wig again in the coming year because it's absolutely beautiful so all right for some reason i was a little bit too eager and forgot to put my third favorite human hair headband wig and that one was the loose wave headband wig from yg wigs absolutely beautiful love it but if you watched my top 10 headband wig video you know i did have some issues with the cap size is super small but it's so beautiful and effortless i'm on the hunt for a replacement for that one because it's so perfect it's affordable and it's so beautiful but definitely my favorite of the year it just had a super small cap all right so we're done with the human hair wig so let's hear some of the favorites from some of my wig friends happy holidays from kyra sean so 2020 has been really crazy however we did get some heat in the wig community this year it's kind of hard for me to choose which wig was like my favorite from this year because i had a lot okay i did a lot of bangers <laughs> we all know the human hair headband trend was you know really big this year i'm rocking one right now okay but you also see that i'm rocking it in a natural texture so i would say that was my big thing for 2020 whether that was synthetic or human hair and i didn't think i had a favorite until i went down my list bobby boss roxy was a hit for me jerry says water wave was banging janet collection dropped their natural meat collection which was fire on my channel but the one that sticks out the most that i just love that kind of checked all the boxes for me was outre julianne i need some wine in this joint i'm pretty sure i screamed in that video <laughs> <laughs> so yeah y'all i love that wig i love that wig hmm maybe i should go put that on yeah i'm gonna go do that mm -hmm. Bye y'all. Hey guys, it's your girl Champagne and I am here to wish you and yours a happy holidays and Merry Christmas from me and my baby bump, 
We are ready to pop, sis. Happy holidays. Um, I will say that my favorite trend in 2020 was the comeback of your girl, the half wig. From the lace front side of the house, my favorite unit this year was Otre Kamaya. She is giving us scalp. She is giving us precision. She is giving us no lace, no case. That is my hands down favorite unit of 2020. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here before I start contracting. Thank you so much, Brittany, for having me in your holiday video this year. Hey y'all, it's Kim with a K, and I am so excited to be a part of this collaboration. One of my favorite wigs of 2020 is Altre Chanel, which is this gorgeous wig I have on my head right here. She did come long, but we cut her into a cute bob in my affordable wig series. So definitely check out my channel, Kim Monet. Have a happy holidays, be safe, and enjoy your family and friends. So hi guys! So you might not know me. <laughs> but my name is Salt Life here on YouTube, aka Shannon. So uh Brit is doing her 2020 favorite wigs. Y'all know this is infamous, baby. She does this every year. She's been doing this for a long time. Baby. Thank you so much, Brit, for this shameless plug, baby. <laughs> I love her so much, so down to earth, beautiful, beautiful person. I'm sure y'all know. But my favorite wig of 2020, y'all, was Shanice by Altra. Y'all, I love that wig. Thank you so much again, Brit, and happy holidays. Happy holidays from Some More Love TV. Guys, my favorite wigs of 2020 had to be Jade by Made Beauty. That one was awesome. It was one of the collabs that I did earlier this year. That one was the bomb. And Wrist Taker by Sensational. I oh, can't tell me nothing when I put that one on. And my favorite wig trends is, of course, the headband wig trend. I mean, it took the industry by storm and it's so easy to do. Well, happy holidays, you guys, from my family to yours. And we're back. So now we're gonna get into some of my favorite synthetic wigs of 2020. I was thinking like I do a lot of human hair wigs on my channel but I have a ton of synthetic favorites. So I'm gonna start off with my favorite synthetic half wig. So when the human hair headband wigs dropped in July a lot of people were like they weren't feeling the price and everything like that so they wanted some inexpensive alternatives. So shortly after my her given hair kinky curly wig that i reviewed i started to do synthetic half wigs with hairband videos and you guys responded really well to those so um so i've tried a lot of them and i'm gonna tell you i still prefer human hair headband wigs because i think they look more natural and some of the synthetic ones look dated to me but if it's the right texture it's gonna look very natural and always current if it looks like your texture so I have four synthetic half wigs that were my absolute favorite and a couple of them are recent ones because I did part one through four of those synthetic half wigs with headbands videos and so I've featured probably I don't know like 20 of them in total in those videos so I've sold a lot of them because honestly they weren't like my absolute favorite so if you watch my channel like you guys already know like Sensational's Alpha Woman had to make this list because she is perfection like it's a yakky texture I told y'all I have a type it's a yakky texture it's about 18 inches and it has nice layers in it. So it's not just straight down. I love that wig. I think I love it more than the next one I'm gonna mention, which is Outre's Annie. Outre Annie is a classic wig here in the wig streets, in the wig community, but I didn't try it until this year. And I think it's beautiful. It's a great dupe for, for kinky straight headband wigs that are human hair. So really love Annie, but Alpha Woman is top. She is top and a lot of people said she was sold out a lot of places. I'm going to try to put links for every wig that I mentioned down below and we'll see if you can, if they're still out here. So, um, Outre Nisha H301. I reviewed this like two weeks ago and I fell in love. It's so glamorous and thick and beautiful. It's just right up my alley. It kind of looks like, I don't know which Nisha it is, like 202 or something or 206 maybe. That one is so beautiful and to make an impact in such a little time, like I'm really impressed by that one. With all of these featured in this video, definitely go back, binge watch all the reviews because they are very good and very thorough and get your list ready. Like I know Christmas is like two days away, 
but you can get these so you can bring in the new year right and look cute so um, <laughs> the last one i want to feature is free Tress natural roller set now this texture is bomb okay i got my natural hair blown out like two or three weeks ago um so it would be like just so i could get it trimmed and everything before i got my braids so my hair was straightened out so i was like with a silky wig i could not blend my hair at all with a half wig but i blended my hair with that particular wig the natural ro roller set and i posted that picture on the gram and people was like wig wear that one is bomb and it's like 15 dollars. that's the great thing about synthetic half wigs they are super inexpensive and they're going to give you a look like i said i definitely prefer human hair headband wigs because they are a better investment and they're going to last longer but if you're not if you're somebody you don't really care about that because some people don't buy you about three or four and let them and rock with them for about six months and you're straight you know it's something out there for everybody that's why i have so much variety on my channel i don't you know feature all human hair wigs and i don't feature all synthetic wigs i feature everything there's a lot of different kinds of people with different budgets and everything that watch my channel so i have you know higher end stuff and then i do have some more affordable stuff on my channel so that's never going to change i love the variety that i feature on my channel and i think you guys um appreciate that too so happy holidays this is your girl miss chrissy christina little ka y'all how y'all doing this is my favorite one of my favorite headband wigs of 2020 this kinky straight love me wig yes y'all any kinky straight any kinky straight headband honorable mention i'll try it. that blonde collection that blonde collection i'll try it was it happy holidays bye Hey guys, it's Junie, and I would have to say that one of my favorite wig trends of the year has definitely had to be. I'm going with the headband wig just because being a mom of a toddler and of a seventh month old, I have really come to appreciate how easy and convenient wearing these units has become. Um, it allows you a lot of versatility and looking super duper cute and presentable with investing the least amount of effort. The headband wig has definitely been one of my favorite wig trends in 2020. Happy holidays, everyone. What's up? This is Wigs to Wasteland or Mika Lynn. So I decided to pick my top favorite wig of 2020 and baby, Laurel baby. <laughs> yes, Laurel here is by Outre. Now she does have that fake scalp, that faux scalp. That's a different story. <laughs> the density, the thickness, the body, the layers on this baby. I am wearing a cape of sleigh. My top pick, Laurel. She's back. What's up, guys? Happy holidays from XOXO Sheba. So my favorite wig trend this year has definitely, of course, been headband wigs, as I'm sure other people's probably is. But for me, it's been the textures. Listen, we've gone from blowout kiki straight to flat iron kiki straight to yakky and everything in between. It's the texture for me. Oh, let me get this together. All right, guys. So we are back. Um, Let's talk about Odie but goodies, okay? In 2020, we had a lot of like, at the top of the year, the big deal was the Bobby Boss HD lace wigs and that was like the talk of the town. And then for some reason, Bobby, Bobby Boss like didn't restock a lot of that stuff and they just kinda, kinda disappeared a little bit. This year was all about Altre. Altre took over the synthetic wigs in all capacities, so. Um, who else was really out here? I felt like Janet Collection was out here a lot too, especially with like the Natural Me blowout collection and stuff like that. Altre was number one. So I hope in next, I hope next year a lot of companies like start to compete with Altre, like, cause they are like standing alone out here. And a lot of the older companies that I used to review back in the day, like Model Model, they had some of my favorite wigs and Free Tress. And in my opinion, a lot of those companies kind of fell off. They don't, Altre goes hard with promotion and everything. I just hope next year we have a lot more competition because Altre 
it's coming up on like two years of just dominating so ever since that relaunch of Nisha they just been killing it so I wanted to include one of my absolute favorites from this year that was an oldie but goodie is Free Tress Falami so Free Tress Falami came out in like 2016 and I know we're going up about you know textured wigs in 2020 but Companies like Free Trust and Model Model were doing textured wigs back then, and I think they did them well, and that's why they still look good in 2020. So, uh, Falami is like a longer version of Blue Meadow, which was one of my favorite wigs back in the day, like 2016. But Falami is longer, and it's not, it's a little bit um, lighter in density. And I had it in like the OP430 color and the number two, and it looks so, so, so beautiful it's such a luxurious look for only like 26 27 dollars and luckily it's still like around because a lot of the bangers from back in the day are discontinued and Falami is still out here and she's still beautiful so back when we were like hardcore quarantined and stuff um that was when my 30th birthday was happening so in may um i wanted to take some pictures on my own because I didn't want to you know work with a photographer or anything because we were still like truly locked down so what I did was I set up all of my equipment in the living room with a backdrop and balloons and I wore free dress Falami as my birthday wig and it looked amazing and then I was I was like when I was making this list of all my favorites I went back and watched a lot of my reviews and I was like, baby, well, I'm enjoying my faux locks, but I cannot wait to take these out so I can start wearing Falami again. She is beautiful, especially in that chocolate color. It is gorgeous. Oh my God. And I also wanted to say with the pandemic, it really put some stuff into perspective about the taste of my wigs. I like easy stuff. I know how to lay my lace. I have videos on how I do that. But I, on a daily basis, I like super easy wigs, okay? So that's why I love headband wigs so much. But the wigs, the simple part wigs from back in the day, I love them. Because if you know how to get the parting space together and use some of the new techniques that we use now with the blow dryers and using hot combs and stuff to make the top not look humpy, then it's going to look super natural. So... I hope in 2020 that companies start to go back to or or have some collections of simple part wigs with no frontals, simple part wigs that look natural with texture that's not too thick. So I love Free Trust Falami. This is something new. I wanted to do this. I thought about doing this last year because it was award style, but I'm just going to throw this in here. I am going to induct one of my favorite synthetic wigs of all time into the wig hall of fame. Yes. So I wanted to induct Free Tress Hania. I reviewed Free Tress Hania four years ago. Absolutely loved it. When I was teaching, that was like my work wig. And I kind of associated it with, with work. So that's why I stopped wearing it. But then my boo is that your hair reviewed it again in 2020 and I was like that doesn't have to be like a work look that can just be a chic bomb bob so I bought it again and I wore it around my birthday during my birthday week and I absolutely loved it because I loved it years ago but seeing you know Gladys with it again I was like let me buy it again and I did and she is still everything when people ask me like What's the wig that I can get that's beginner friendly and affordable and appropriate for every day and work? Free Tressania is your wig. I still love it four years later, four or five years later. I think it's amazing. And that is why we are inducting Miss Free Tressania into the Wig Hall of Fame. So let's hear from more of my wig bay friends. What's up cousins? It's your girl Mary Kay wishing you and your loved ones a very, very, very happy holiday season. Now we know 2020 has been filled with lots of things, but one thing that I am so glad made a comeback is the head band wig oh my goodness you can wear them to school you can wear them to work you can wear them to church and it's still all good right up my alley y'all be safe be sweet wishing you and your loved ones peace love and light bye
Hey y'all, it's Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair? Happy Holidays! And C. And C. <laughs> <laughs> and I would say my favorite wig trend of 2020, I think y'all already know what it is. These damn headbands. These headbands! Everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> it's on my head like right now. I love them so, so much. Hey guys, it's Weezy, the Sexy Grandma 2K from Weezy Wig Reviews. Best wig of 2020, without a doubt, hands down, not even open for debate, is by Outre. It is from the Melted Hairline, and it is Kamaya. Yes, without a doubt. Kamaya is the absolute best. Her layering is bomb. Her hairline is bomb. No tweezers needed. And that lace melts down. You will be serving all scalp. So make sure you run and not walk and get you a Kamaya as soon as she restocks. All right, guys. And if you want to know why you can't find one, it's because your girl keeps one on deck. <laughs> All right, guys, so happy holidays. Thanks, Britt. Happy holidays, my dear. Bye, guys. Stay safe. Happy holidays from Leah Levon. I have to say my favorite wig of 2020 has to be the Outre Nisha 205 wig. Such a beautiful texture, such a beautiful curl, and such a beautiful color selection. Has to be one of my favorites of this year. Hey, happy holidays. Britt asked me to share with you guys my favorite wig of 2020. My favorite wig of 2020 will have to be Zephanie, um, Outre Zephanie. I love Zephanie. I loved, I have reviewed her in the chocolate color and she was just sweet, short, sassy, a plop and go. She looked so effortless and you couldn't even tell that she plopped her on. So that was my favorite unit and there's definitely more to come. So yes, girl, that's it. Hey beauties, it's Kaya here, aka KL Glamour here on YouTube. I just want to send you all a happy and wonderful holiday wish. 2020 has definitely been a year and I hope you all are ending the year with your family and loved ones and I just want to send you a happy holiday wish from my family to yours. My favorite 2020 wig line this one right here is the Outre Perfect Hairline Julianne wig. I love it from the style to the color options to the textures. It literally is an all around well thought out and put together unit. And I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. Bye y'all. We are entering the last segment of this video and I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite synthetic lace wigs of 2020. And a lot of these, I don't think like everybody loves them or it's a lot of hype around them. Maybe, yeah, definitely one of them is for sure. And I'm sure you guys can guess it because I love it. One of my favorite lace wigs of this year is actually not perfect because it's dry and it melts if you put heat on it. But I still love it because... I um I put heat on it and it did melt and it shed a lot but it looks absolutely beautiful still so for me a wig doesn't have to be absolutely perfect to be my favorite um it can have some flaws so that wig is sensational's born stunner I love textured wigs as you guys know it was like 14 inches it had this effortless wave to it and it's a simple part wig like I think you can you can like glue down the front if you want to but I didn't I wore it behind my hairline and just put a little bit of got to be glued on the parting space and blow dry that down and then put my powder in the part and finessed it that way it's just bomb but just know it is dry it is like Jode from Janet collection dry but I don't care I don't mind it I still love it um the next so favorite is May Beauty's Lilia and this was kind of like a surprise because I was like, who is Maid Beauty? I don't know <laughs> much about them. And they sent me this wig along with like two other ones. But Lilia was my absolute favorite. I think I had it in the color DR30. That's my profile picture for my, my planner Instagram, which is Hearts in the Plan. Follow me there if you're into planning. And follow me on my uh, planner channel as well, which is also Hearts in the Plan. So I put that as my profile picture. I just felt like I was glowing with that wig. It just complimented my complexion. I have one other blonde wig I'm going to mention on here, but I don't really like blonde wigs. I just have to be a very specific combination for me to like it. I'm not a 613 kind of blonde girl. 
I like more like warm like darker blondes so that one gave it to me and it was a simple easy part so that's something you're starting to see like I like easy wigs I do so the next wig is Outrace Aaliyah um and I've what color is that I think it's like hazelnut honey that color is perfection and I have something coming up special which is inspired by Outre Aaliyah so look out for that sometime in January um I love that color combo um the only thing is it is synthetic so it tangled up so much so I had to cut it I cut it to about 16 inches and it's absolutely gorgeous still. Outre does such a good job with color. Like whoever they hired to kind of revamp what they had going on, they did a great job. So love Outre Leah. She just tangled a lot. I was hesitating to put it on here because it was such a pain in the butt, but the look it gave, oh my gosh. So Bobby Boss Camille, if you watch that review, you'll see I was struggling with that wig because that was from the HD Lace collection that um, Bobby Boss dropped earlier this year and it was so hard to apply as far as like tinting the lace, tweezing the hairline. It was, it's not beginner friendly at all y'all, but it is gorgeous. I cut her up to about maybe 18 inches. It's like $60 though. And I think a lot of places it sold out but Bobby Boss doesn't really uh, restock their wigs, so I hope they start to do better with that in the coming year. Uh, but I love the look of Bobby Boss Camille. And while we're on the subject of Bobby Boss Camille, synthetic wig companies, this is one of my wishes. Please make a wig that is a lot easier to apply that looks just like Camille because I had so many people like, so it's pretty but do you have a dupe that's easier that's more beginner friendly and i was like no i don't it's such a unique curl pattern for a synthetic wig because historically i don't like curly synthetic wigs i only liked a handful model model pop blossom and a few others and that's about it so i really hope like Altre, are you watching like try to get in the lab and do something like a simple part wig that looks natural that has this look of Camille like please somebody do it and I wanted to do an honorable mention before I get into my absolute favorite of 2020 and that is Outre Julianne and I'm putting her as a honorable mention because I only wore her one one time and I've been doing all these wig sales and I don't think I sold her and I, I really can't find her <laughs> I need to clean out my storage bins for my wigs, bring her out in 2021. I can't find her at all, but she was absolutely beautiful. And I had her in that chocolate swirl color. She was just giving so much volume and pageantry with the curls and everything. So I was here for Julianne, but I can't find her. And I've only worn, worn her like once. And I can't say she's my absolute favorite if I haven't worn her a lot so but she is an honorable mention um, but last um, but not least can y'all go ahead and say like in the premiere if you're watching with the premiere squad what was my favorite synthetic lace wig of the year Altre Kamaya yes Altre Kamaya so <laughs> Altre Kamaya entered the chat probably I think in late September late September early October and boy did she make some waves in the wig community because at the time I was just like lace wigs I'm off that all about the headband wigs I'll see you later so but then Outre Kamaya like oh my gosh y'all I initially was in love with the ginger brown and that's one of my like most popular pictures on my Instagram as well that ginger brown oh my gosh and it had that dark root because they do have a ginger brown that's just ginger brown without the dark root but this was the dr2 ginger brown and it just was beautiful the outre melted hairline series is my favorite because it's only like 37 dollars and that lace does melt pretty well in comparison to other synthetic frontals it's so beautiful and then like a few weeks later i started wearing the number two and i think i like the number two more than the ginger brown 
every time I post Kamaya people go crazy about it because it just looks so good like it looks like a human hair wig and then of course on top of that Altre came through with the color but that wig was so popular that um it just hasn't been restocked since it's giving me very much Altre Nisha vibes when that release was around people couldn't get it for months and that's the vibe with Kamaya so Kamaya is my absolute favorite lace wig of 2020. You gotta get her, but keep in mind she is $37 and she is synthetic and she is long. She is not gonna last you a super long time. So I would recommend to get her as a look. If you're somebody who's like, oh my gosh, I'm not dealing with tangling, then invest in a human hair wig. I have plenty of those reviews on my channel, but that comes pre-styled. That's the great thing about synthetic wigs. They come pre-styled. So, that was my list of my absolute favorites of this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Please, please, please shout to y'all for all the growth in 2020. It's amazing. Like this was, even though 2020 was in general, it was terrible for everybody. But as far as like my YouTube career and everything, it's been amazing. And I'm so grateful for everybody who supports me. Um, I haven't forgot about my 150k giveaway. I'm while I'm on break I'm gonna get that together and have something for you guys in the new year So uh, thank you guys so much for your support if you haven't subscribed yet Go ahead and subscribe and turn on your notifications So when I do more premieres and when I come back with more content you will be notified and be sure to show love to everybody who participated in this video shout out to you ladies Thank you so much this is a crazy time of year. Everybody has their own circumstances and everything, but I appreciate you guys taking the time to send your videos and record them. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much. You guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Whatever you celebrate, I hope you celebrate it safely. Yeah, thank you guys so much for supporting me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.